Hey, what is up everybody? I am Jason and you're watching my channel Micro Investor. So in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the coolest technology stocks, and that is Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. Now, if you're not familiar with Palantir, this is a company that went public back in September, and the stock has had amazing performance since then. Now, Palantir is a company that develops software to analyze data for both government and commercial companies, and it's pretty much split right down the middle of half their business being to government and half their business being to like big corporation type companies. And the interesting thing about Palantir is that this is a company that deals with some very secretive information and they handle information on just about everybody and everything because their customers in the government side include the CIA, the IRS, the military, and many more branches of the government. Now, for any company to have large contracts with the government, that's already a big deal. But Palantir is also a company that has some of the biggest minds out there that help run this company, which is another thing that really helps benefit them. Now, since Palantir stock has more than tripled since it became public back on September 30th, it has now attracted the attention of the, one of the most famous short sellers out there, Citron Research, who recently set their targets on Palantir. Now, I want to talk about that as well as Palantir as a company and kind of give my opinion on where do I see Palantir going in the future. So this video is not meant to be any sort of financial advice. This is just me sharing my own opinions and thoughts on this stock in general. Now, if you do find my videos helpful and you would like to help support this channel, I do have a Patreon. Link is in the description. And if you don't want to go that route, always the easiest way to help out my channel is to always just smash, destroy, and annihilate that like button because of course that helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps spread my videos to more people that might find them interesting. And also, as always, subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get to this. If we look at Palantir stock from the IPO to now, the stock has gone up 180%, but a majority of all that is over this last month. Now, of course, when a stock goes up this fast, it tracks short sellers. And the most popular short seller of all, Citron Research, had this to say about Palantir stock on their Twitter account. What a run the past month for all, but as traders looking for short exposure, PLTR is no longer a stock, but a full casino. Does not take a ball of crystal to know this, we'll fall back to Arda, shorting with a $20 2020 target. Now this was the day after Thanksgiving and the stock market closed early that day. Now luckily this didn't really have much of an effect on Palantir stock. It closed down 4.78% and luckily it made up about half that during after hours trading. Now in the morning, Palantir stock was doing really well. It actually hit a new all time high, but I can't really say that Citron could really take all the credit for Palantir stock dropping just a few percent because what I noticed is that many of my stocks were actually in the morning were doing well, really well during pre-markets and then a jobs report came out around that time and then I noticed that a lot of them started to lose those early gains that they were making in the morning and there just wasn't really that much time in the day for the market to be able to rebound a lot of these stocks. Now looking in this case, Citron is being a little bit more realistic when setting a $20 price target because if you look at Palantir stock, just in the beginning of November, Palantir stock was still below $11 a share. So a price target set in the end of November saying $20 a share really isn't that bad of a thing. And it's possible the Palantir stock could go to $20 a share temporarily just because there is going to be a lockup that's going to be ending at the end of December. And quite possible that many uh, early investors could be selling out many of their shares. And even if a lot of shares are not sold, when the lockup does end, it's possible the stock price could just be creeping down just in anticipation of the possibility of that happening. Now, if you're somebody that is bullish on Palantir like me, this just means this could be a great opportunity to pick up more Palantir stock for a lower price. Now, for everybody that doesn't know why Palantir stock went up so much in November, that is because Palantir has been a company for 17 years. And, you know, they just recently went public on September 30th, and they just had their first ever earnings report as a public company. Now, this earnings report came out on November 12th, and on that earnings report, we learned that Palantir's revenue was $289.4 million in the third quarter, which is up 52% year over year. And their full year 2020 revenue guidance raised to a range of 
$1.070 billion to $1.072 billion, up 44% year over year. And they had new contracts in the third quarter, which included the United States Army, which was $91 million, the National Institute of Health, which was $36 million, and $300 million renewal to an aerospace customer. So a private company was that big $300 million one, and we could probably assume that that could easily be somebody like Boeing or Lockheed Martin or something like that. You know, there's not many companies that when they first go, uh, become a publicly traded company and they release their first ever earnings report as a publicly traded company, that they're telling you numbers like this, that they're telling you that their revenues were up 52% and that they landed these big accounts that are worth, you know, millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. That's not something that you usually hear about. Now, obviously, Palantir is a company that's been around for a long time. They've been around for 17 years and they have, you know, some of the best people in technology running this company, which is the next thing I want to get to because this is the next a uh, big part about Palantir, why I can see that this company is going to be worth so much, is by who is running this company. Three of Palantir's co-founders are on the board of directors, and all three of them are alumni of Stanford University. Alexander Karp, who is also the CEO, Stephen Cohen, who is the president, and Peter Thiel, who is also Elon Musk's friend and co-founder of PayPal. And this guy's also the first investor of Facebook who also sits on the board over there as well. Now, Peter Thiel being one of the co-founders of this company is a pretty big deal in my opinion. I mean, this guy co-founded PayPal and he was one of the first people over at Facebook. So he has a history with a track record of companies just exploding over the years. Now, as far as my predictions with Palantir, I think, yeah, it's possible we'll see some pullback, possible, as it gets closer to that lockout. But after that lockout is over, then all the pressure, in my opinion, is off Palantir. And I think after that point, Palantir would just continue its trajectory that has been on here in November. So I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts on Palantir. Is there anybody that's invested in this company? And what do you see this stock doing in the future? So with that being said, as always, everybody, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video coming very soon.